Whenever you start to see things come out sideways, like calculation, judgment, resentment, comparison, like it's been because I haven't dealt with something directly. And so now it's getting squeezed out of my sides. Just wanted to say my first time on the call, excited to be Welcome. here. Going through the money mindset stuff, I think a lot of your messaging is to spiritual entrepreneurs, you know, it's okay to want financial abundance and want to create that for yourself. I found myself coming from the opposite polarity where actually I felt totally embodied in those beliefs. But what came through was realizing I am a bit perhaps too transactional in my relationships. I realize in some of my personal relationships, I am keeping score of like when I have given or like shared more, contributed more financially to a certain thing. And I'm just wondering if you could speak to that. I have flipped it on its head um, and that does feel good, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. Yeah, I get it. I appreciate you sharing that. And it's something I can resonate with too. I can't obviously psychoanalyze where you're coming from. But when I experience that in myself of like this calculating how much I'm giving versus other people are giving, it was really from a for myself from a place of dissatisfaction and scarcity and wanting to feel reciprocated with and maybe having unreasonable expectations and relationships or not knowing how to communicate my expectations in a relationship in a way that was super clear of like, hey, I would love if you bought me lunch one day. Like, how bold would that be to just tell somebody, hey, I would mm -hmm. love if you bought me a present. I would love if you bought me a present. Instead of having these secret desires that like fester into like resentment and subtle judgment, because whenever you start to see things come out sideways, like calculation, judgment, resentment, in my experience, it's been because I haven't dealt with something directly. And so now it's getting squeezed out of my sides. It's coming out sideways at my friends and family and loved ones and clients and whatever. That's been my experience. And we spoke about this a lot at the retreat, just utilizing comparison, utilizing judgment, utilizing envy, because all those things are a reflection of our own unmet potential. We're not really jealous or envious of people who are in completely different life paths than us. We're judgmental and envious of people who are on a similar life path, but maybe a few steps seemingly ahead. And we're like, mm, look at that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like mm. also like making judgments about people is another way to protect ourselves from seeing our own unmet potential of like assuming someone got there by unjust means or unethical means. Like, I think that's a huge bypass in a lot of the spiritual communities about money, especially like I get that comments on my ads all the time. They're like, wow, this must be so unethical if you're making more. I get people who are like, you're contributing to the wealth disparity. And I'm like, really? Like I did the math because I'm that kind of guy. I would literally have to have 14,450,000 people plus go through my program this year and all hit 250 grand to equate to the net worth of the top five wealthiest people. You really think my 60 people in my program making an extra 10 to 50 grand a month is creating the wealth disparity. Of the world. Like, you know, anyways, but it's just so interesting. Like it's, it's a feeling within oneself that causes a judgment on the external environment in order to feel more comfortable about one's own unmet potential. And that's okay. But I just don't mm -hmm. think it's helpful, you know? Or, 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 or that other statement about like someone making more must be unethical. It's like, okay, let's reverse that. The people who make the least are the most ethical. Then that would mean we have to do a study of the world's most impoverished people and see that it correlates to the highest character and level of helping society possible. But what do we see? We don't see that. We see people at a low income level or poverty line who have very poor character. And we see people at the very high level of wealth with very poor character. And we see people at a low level of wealth or poverty line with extremely high character. And we see people at an extremely high level of wealth with extremely high character. So anyways, I could talk about this stuff all day, but... I just think like as soon as money gets involved, it just amplifies whatever's already in our hearts. And so for you, it's, it's there's something being amplified there that was already there before. And now that money is getting involved is just shedding a light. I don't think money can corrupt anybody. It just amplifies what's already there. So if you were 10% unethical before, 
Now, when you have 10 times more capacity to express that part of yourself, it's going to be more obvious, but it, it doesn't change the, the, the ratio itself. Mm. Thank you. Um, what came through for me while you were speaking was specifically about the stuff being squeezed out and also how would it feel to ask? Because yeah, maybe if I'm not using my voice and requesting what I would like out of the relationship, then I am just keeping track of when I felt I put into it and not received back. So that really stood out to me. Um, so yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. One of my friends, when I was living as a monk, he was also a monk and just way more mature than me. And um, he said, he just said, forget what you give. <laughs> it just stuck with me. Like, like, forget what you give. And there's a principle within the Vedic text of like, when you share about your good deeds, they diminish because you're enjoying in the ego of I am good. And in my opinion, like, the I am a good human ego is probably the highest intoxication on the planet, which is why philanthropy and it's intoxicating to feel oneself a really amazing person when all of us do have a shadow world and, you know, also have like not super evolved thoughts and not super evolved parts of ourselves. Anyways, I'm tangenting as you requested a tangent. Cool, EJ? Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome.